Hey everyone, with this video I do want to show you a few different ways of sharpening your images for web and social media, especially for Instagram. I have been avoiding this topic for a while now since it's a little bit boring to me, but it's been requested quite a lot. So before we start with the different sharpening methods, just keep in mind different social media platforms use different image sizes. This means, for example, for Instagram, to get the sharpest, best image quality, you need to use the ideal size, which is a square post of 1080 pixel by 1080 pixel. Of course, if you want, you don't have to post a square image. You can also post a landscape image, which has an ideal size of 1080 pixels by 566 pixel. And then we also have the vertical image with 1080 pixel by 1350 pixel. You see, for Instagram, it's very important to keep a width of 1080 pixel just to get the best looking image. At this point, I do want to mention, I don't really care about those specific sizes. I usually export my images a little bit bigger, so they just look better on different platforms. Now with the sizes for Instagram out of the way, let's do a bit of sharpening. Here we have a nice vibrant landscape image. I already did some editing on it. As you might notice, we are in the camera raw editor and this is where the first step of the sharpening will happen. To be a bit more precise, after all the editing I have done here, the last step in the camera raw editor usually happens in the details tab and this is where we can sharpen the image. Since we are in the camera raw editor, this will also work for Lightroom and I'm always using the same settings here. This means I'm bringing down the radius, I'm increasing the details all the way up, then I'm going to apply some masking. And that is very important since I don't want the whole image to be sharpened. I only want areas of interest to be a little sharper. So I'm holding down the Alt key and drag up the masking slider. And you can see how we can nicely mask out the blue sky, which doesn't need any sharpening at all. So just bringing up the masking will help tremendously. So this way only the mountains and the hills in the foreground are selected and a bit of the clouds as well. With that out of the way, I'm going to increase the amount of sharpening as well to get a very sharp looking image. This looks super awesome, but you might be wondering what those sliders are doing. Of course, sharpening is just how much we sharpen this image. And I do have explained the masking, but what is radius and details? Radius is basically the size of sharpening around edges. The default value for the radius is set to one. This means the camera raw editor will sharpen just one pixel around edges. If we increase the radius, we tell the camera raw editor to sharpen three pixel around edges. And thus, we're getting a very weird looking edge right here where the contrast is very high. Let me bring it down so you can see the difference. Now this edge is pretty much gone and we still get a very sharp looking image. Now on to the detail. The detail slider basically controls the amount of sharpening on the edge. Bringing down the detail will tell the camera raw editor to only sharpen very large edges. By bringing up the details all the way to 100, will tell it to also sharpen very, very small edges. Play around with it so you can hopefully see the difference. Now, with the sharpening in the camera raw editor out of the way, this is basically the first step. I'm always applying those settings on my raw images and then the next step is to edit the image further in Photoshop. Once I'm done editing in Photoshop, I then prepare an image which I upload on different websites later. At this point, let me just mention, I'm usually relying on the TK Panel plugin to do that for me. You see, I'm using this plugin usually for creating luminosity masks, but this also comes with a sharpening tool, which helps me to output a JPEG file, convert the image to sRGB, which is the color space best used when uploading an image online. And here I can also set the output size. 
So as I said in the beginning, I don't really care about the Instagram size of 1080 pixel. Instead, I just make the image a little bigger. So I just have some more details when uploading it, for example, on Reddit. Of course, not everyone wants to use a plugin like this, which I can understand. But fortunately, there are a few different ways of further sharpening with just Photoshop. For that, let me duplicate this layer real quick. And now the first method I want to show you is rather rough, but it gives you pretty good results. So let's head into the filter menu. Here, go to sharpen and then unsharp mask. Now the most important slider with unsharp mask to set up is the radius. I'm usually going with something between 0.2 and 0.5, depending on the size of the image. For bigger images, you can go a little higher on the radius. For web purposes, I would go with 0.2, 0.3 or maybe 0.4. But let's turn it up a bit so you can see what this will do to your image. So just like in the camera raw editor, the radius is just defining the pixel around an edge, which will get sharpened. Of course, if you turn it up, this looks super weird, but using a low amount, like I just mentioned, will improve the image. The problem here is it will also sharpen the sky, which really doesn't need any sharpening since, well, it's just a plain blue sky. However, let's just go with 0.5 for this image and just bring up the sharpening a bit. And usually with those settings, you're pretty good. Then hit OK. As I said, this is a very rough way of sharpening. Now let me show you a way which I prefer and I would use if I wouldn't use the TK panel plugin. Again, I'm duplicating that layer. Then I'm going to filter once more. This time, however, choose other. And here we're going to pick high pass. High pass basically detects edges of an image and finding edges is very, very helpful for sharpening. Again, if we bring up the radius, you can see the edges more clearly, but that's not what we want. We want to have a subtle edge. For the purpose of this video, I'm going with a higher radius than usual. So just like this, and I'm hitting OK. Of course, at the moment, we just have a gray image. To change that, we need to change the blending mode. So under the blending mode menu, let's choose overlay. And now let me zoom in so you can see the actual effect when I turn off this layer. The difference this high pass sharpening method will give your images is quite huge. And this is also the method which I have seen regularly used by different landscape photographers. So I hope this video wasn't too boring and I hope it was quite helpful for those of you who requested a web sharpening video like this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments as always. And thank you very much for watching this video.